Outside of you becoming a patient inside of my clinic, this is probably your best opportunity to meet me. Hey guys, welcome back to the Dr. Cliff AUD vlog. This is vlog number 211, and today I wanna to talk to you guys about the Hearing Loss Association of America convention that I'm going to be speaking at. But before I do, go ahead and do me a huge favor, click the like button, and make sure that you hit that subscribe button with notification bell so you never miss any one of my newly released videos. That being said, it is greatly appreciated. Now let's get on with the vlog. So um, I actually had someone reach out to me and say, hey Cliff, we noticed that the HLAA convention is going to be in Phoenix June 26th through the 29th and we were wondering if you were actually going to be speaking at that convention. And so I actually started looking into it because I remember if you guys watched the vlog, not the vlog, if you watched the Dr. Cliff show that I had maybe like a year ago, I actually had Barbara Kelly on who is the executive director of HLAA. And she was actually in the area also to scout the location for their next convention. And of course, they ended up deciding on Phoenix because why wouldn't you decide on Phoenix? Phoenix is absolutely gorgeous. And even in late June, it's a wonderful place to be if you like hanging out by the pool or hanging out inside in air conditioning. But um, I looked into it a little bit further and I was able to identify that they had a call for submissions, right? So you can actually submit a presentation that you want to give at their convention. And when I went onto their website to do it though, I realized that I was about two weeks late in being able to submit an abstract for them to approve or deny for me to actually speak at the convention. So I actually reached out and emailed them directly and I'm like, hey guys, uh, this is Dr. Cliff Olson. I was wondering that if I were to submit an abstract right now for a presentation, would you guys even consider it? Considering that everybody else who wanted to speak at the convention has already submitted their stuff by the deadline. So I was totally understanding if they uh, said, no Cliff, uh, everyone who's already submitted has submitted. We can't let any in, any additional abstracts in in consideration for speaking. So um, I shot them an email and within like a day, they're like, oh my gosh, Dr. Cliff, absolutely. We would love for you to submit something for the convention. So I just started to think like, okay, what would the things be that would provide the most value to the individuals coming to that conference? Because here's the thing, um, my YouTube channel is primarily focused on speaking to individuals with hearing loss. I spend very little time and energy speaking to hearing care professionals on my channel. And the only time that I really speak directly to hearing care professionals is when I go to a conference and I'm, I'm creating education around all the stuff that I talk about on the YouTube channel. And so this was like, oh my gosh, this is my demo. This is the type of people that I prefer to talk to. I like, I like primarily talking to individuals with hearing loss because my whole thesis from the day that I started the YouTube channel was is that if I can educate the individual who has hearing loss, they're going to be able to demand a higher level of care from their hearing care professional. And the way that they're able to actually advocate better for themselves is to have a good understanding about what things that we should be doing as hearing care professionals to optimize their performance with whatever hearing treatment they use, whether that being hearing aids, um, implants, uh, or whatever, right? And so the the idea of me speaking at the HLAA convention seems a lot more natural to me and I decided to submit a presentation speaking about best practices and why best practices are substantially more important than the hearing aids or cochlear implants that you wear and I think that this is this talk that I'm going to be giving is going to be a very nice clear and concise I think it's like I get an hour to speak but it's going to be a really clear and concise summary of why best practices are so important if you want to hear your best. And if you don't get best practices administered when you're being treated with hearing aids or cochlear implants, why your performance would suffer. And I think it's going to be a good opportunity for me to, for the first time really ever, speak in front of people who have hearing loss because every for the past what, six years now, over a thousand videos, I've been staring at this camera lens, not even able to see you guys. 
And I think it's going to be a really cool opportunity for me to speak up on stage in front of a room full of people, hopefully a room full of people who have hearing loss and have my message reach them directly and have the ability for them to ask follow up questions. Because the other thing about the channel here is that anytime that I speak to the camera, I have to try to speak in a way that everything that I say is as clearly understandable as humanly possible. But I'm not perfect, meaning I might say something, then someone's like, what does that even mean? And they have no way to follow up to, uh, with a question to me for me to answer it, except for leaving something in the comment section. And as you guys know, like I get thousands of comments a day. There's no way that I'm gonna be able to go in there and respond to all of the comments every single time. I try to do a decent job, but I, my schedule is so jam packed, it's, it's nearly impossible for me to answer these questions. So if you've had a pressing question for me, whether it's related to a specific video or a specific concept, this is probably one of the only times that you'll be able to potentially get to see me in person and ask me a direct question. And so, I mean, I have a plan of, I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna speak. After I'm done speaking, I'm gonna probably hang out for a while. So anyone who wants to come up and ask me direct questions or get a selfie or something like that um, would be able to do so. And so I just think that this is gonna be really cool because the community that I want to serve is essentially going to be at this HLAA convention. So. If you are not registered for HLAA and you want to have a chance to meet me, it is the perfect time to get registered. There's still, I believe, as of this recording, still early bird registration where you can save a little bit of money on it. I'm not being paid to promote this. I'm not being paid to tell you guys to go to HLAA. I think it's probably going to be a fantastic conference considering the location of it and considering the speakers that they have speaking at the convention. Uh, I might be a little biased when I say that, of course, but um, I think it'll be fun for everybody and I'm actually getting, I'm looking forward to meeting some of you guys out there who've been a supporter of the channel for six plus years at this point. But uh, that again, Hearing Loss Association of America convention, two, oh wait, what year is it? 2024, uh, June 26th through the 29th. Make sure that you register as soon as possible. The rates for like the staying at hotels is gonna be very affordable around that time considering the time of year. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you guys. If you are registering and you're going to go and you wanna make sure that we can have a chance to meet up, make sure that you comment down in the comment section because I'll try to go through those comments right before the convention starts so I can plan on getting to meet you guys. But that is all I wanted to talk about today. I'm super excited. I haven't put together the present presentation yet, but trust me, it is going to be an enlightening one and a really good one. Uh, but as always, guys, um, I'm actually headed out of the country here to go speak to a couple hundred uh, hearing care professionals in Australia and talking to them about the importance of following best practices as well. But as you know, when I speak to professionals, it's totally different than speaking to you guys. So wish me luck and I will see you next week.